Paul. Look, it's been a, a kind of rolling story today inside the ABC. It seems that what's happened is since we announced that we were going to do the commentary, um, the, the BBC's got nervous. They've clearly spoken to the palace. And what's been happening over the Easter break is a bit of a kind of stalking exercise to ward off anyone from providing footage that we might be able to use, including today, um, I'm told, that the ABC got a new contract from the BBC which has a specific no chaser clause right. in it. So, in the, so it's definitely changed. It wasn't just that nobody would in the organisation oh, didn't check the details yeah. of what, what that footage was allowed to be Absolutely. There, there, are, there are new restrictions uh, that have been publicised on the APTN feed, which is what we thought we were going to be using, and there's a new clause, I'm told, in the ABC's contract saying no chaser. So, well, may we say God save the Queen, but nothing will save the chaser. But is, is this the Prince Charles clause? That's what we're hearing, that he intervened, that, that famed Goons yeah. fan, he intervened to stop well, the Well, I don't know if it's Charles himself, but it was certainly um, his Charles' peeps. Peep, his peeps. Yeah, his peep. yeah. Mm. And Clarence House is, is running the, the, the kind of media side of, of the wedding at least, and it has imposed restrictions. Clarence, and we, House, is Clarence House is Prince Charles's house, I suppose, right. or palace or whatever they have. <laughs> Love shack. I yeah, know. exactly. Yeah, it is. It <laughs> is. just call it private office because that's too much information. Exactly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, and, and they're the ones who've certainly been imposing these restrictions and also contacting other media organisations to prevent us from actually getting an alternative fee. Tell us about that. Well, um, uh, you know, the ABC One was planning to use uh, the BBC's official footage uh, and... ABC2 was therefore considering other places it could get the feed. And it seems like... Um, like, I got an email um, from another media organisation that we're not even dealing with, saying, we've been approached by the BBC who are concerned that you might be using our footage. Huh. Um, so you can't use our footage, and well, we didn't even know who they are. So there's clearly... This is, I suppose, a, a, an example of the palace... Uh, using its power over the BBC uh, and the media generally and, and to ha- and stop how you, us. And how do you know for sure it was Clarence House who intervened? Well, I, I mean, I haven't seen the stuff myself, but I understand that there have been communications between the ABC and the BBC in which uh, Clarence House was copied in and and, and, and agreeing that, that this was a very serious matter and that something needed to be done. Sir? Can I ask a question, a hypothetical question, obviously, because sure. we don't want to have, have any more clauses added um, <laughs> after the event, but... Given the information is going to be so widely available, what would stop anyone, whether they're chasers, the front runners, or any other group, actually doing a rap show once they've got all the vision and actually sort of done a review? Well, I mean, that's um, there are restrictions on the forever and ever. Yeah, well, well certainly on the use of the footage. Sorry, that was my um, that was my rule. Yeah, till till death to us part, which you know, can, can be earlier ever. or later for, yeah. for different people. But yeah, no, the, there are specific restrictions preventing that. Uh, and I suppose from our perspective, what we were always planning to do was the live commentary to actually yes. weave our our commentary <coughs> and the stuff that we've prepared into those live pictures, and that has been made impossible. So we understand that the ABC's hands are tied. Essentially, You've got two days to circumvent it, Julian. You can do something. <laughs> Lightning sketches. Or well, there's something <laughs> ridiculous about this. You know, the, the 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 royal family are actually putting out the whole broadcast on YouTube, yeah. uh, and yet they're imposing restrictions on broadcasters from the way it can be used. This is kind of seems like a high tech version of you know Les Majest, the old laws that prevent you from yeah. criticising the monarchy. It seems a bit ridiculous and out of touch to me. But then again, you know, the monarchy is ridiculous and out of touch. Uh, have, you try, have you tried to work out any ways around it? We've looked into it and we don't think it's viable and in particular because it looks like it would uh, endanger the ABC's ability to run the, the ABC One coverage. We actually always thought this was a, a good example of multi-channeling. You know, if you want the proper coverage, you can watch ABC One and you can have a very proper time. And if you wanted an alternative take with a smaller audience on a digital channel, you could watch ABC Two. But uh, uh, the Palace and uh, the BBC on behalf of the Palace have pulled all that together and made it impossible for us to... And will there be any alternate ways of covering it? You could do it on radio, for example, or, or on Twitter? Well, um, we kind of need the pictures for it to work. And also, you know, we this has been... Well, we could watch the ABC One coverage and you could call it on the well, radio. Well, what we wanted to do was actually um, not just pure com- um, commentary or pure comedy. Uh, for some of it was very unfunny. Um, <laughs> but what we wanted to do was to roll in pictures and we've recorded some stuff and so it just won't work on radio. You realise so? what Clarence House has managed to do? I was hoping that this was going to be a wedding-free show. And yeah, we're talking yeah, about... Yeah, really I'm sure. about I apologise, Sue, because the drum has win. not mentioned the wedding so far. <laughs> oh, so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh. They win. You see, they heard there was a show that they weren't going to go, and they've done it. Julian, what do you say to people who say, what's the chaser doing making fun of 
someone's special day, a, a wedding. Good point. Is what I say. <laughs> no, look, I mean, the, the, the reality is uh, that the royal family are, a, are very public figures. I, I think they're essentially celebrities like any other. Um, also, you know, we're talking about the future head of state uh, of Australia, and the... This event is being used for the palace's purposes for good publicity. I think the question is, is it legitimate to make fun of it? And I think the answer is clearly yes. yes. The palace disagrees, and that, I, show, I suppose, shows the way the palace is trying to use its power.